chapter 12, verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Okay, so now there's another wonder in heaven going on. A woman clothed with the sun. Look at this woman who's clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. She's got the moon under her feet. And upon her head a crown of 12 stars. So she got a crown of 12 stars. Who is this lady? She being with child cried. So she's pregnant with this baby, travailing in birth. She's in pain. She's in travail during her birth and pain to be delivered. So she delivers this child that she delivered in pain. All right. Now notice right here, who is this pregnant lady then? Who is about to give birth to a child, okay? As she gives birth to a child over here, you'll notice that underneath her feet is a moon. And then, I know, I know, stop laughing, okay? I know, okay. So it's work. Okay, thank you, thank you, all right? All right. No, ladies, you're not going to look this ugly when you're pregnant, okay? So don't worry, all right? So there's a moon. She, uh, she's clothed with the moon. I mean, she's clothed with the sun, moon underneath her feet. And upon her head are 12 stars, okay? So then there are 12 stars around it. Okay, now a lot of people, that's why they're gonna, you're going to see these statues of the Virgin Mary, they're going to say. And they try to put this description at Revelation chapter 12 to the Virgin Mary. That's why you see statues of this. That's why they call her the title Queen of Heaven. That's what you're going to see. Queen of Heaven. Because they're going to look at Revelation 12, like there's this beautiful woman up in heaven and she's crowned. So they decorate these statues with the moon underneath her feet, the sun around her head, and etc. But you got to realize this, is that this decoration that they do for their statues, if you go all the way back to ancient Babylon under Semiramis and Nimrod, that's referring to Semiramis. That's a pagan idol. That's not referring to Revelation 12. I mean, this thing at Revelation 12, you got to realize Semiramis and Nimrod were way before this was mentioned. And they were decorating statues like this before John mentioned Revelation 12. So this is not referring to the Virgin Mary then. This is referring to some pagan goddess, Ishtar, Venus, etc., long before the Virgin Mary. Not only that, this Queen of Heaven title was not titled at Revelation 12 or during the Virgin Mary's timeline. This was during that pagan goddess's timeline. Go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 44, please. Jeremiah 44. Queen of heaven is not the Virgin Mary, friend. It is referring to a devil. Look at Jeremiah chapter 44. Look at verse 19. Verse 19. Pretend the Catholic Church did not even exist. All right? Pretend it did not even exist. Wouldn't you mistake verse 19 as a typical Catholic Sunday morning mass? Verse 19. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven. What religion burns incense? To what they call the Queen of Heaven. And poured out drink offerings unto her. What religion has a drink offering? And they call it an offering too when they drink. Did we make her cakes to worship her? What religion partakes in cakes afterward. We know what this is. This is referring to pagan Ishtar, Semiramis, and the Catholic Church is that system. Amen. Plain as day. So not only that, go to Revelation 12. This can't be the Virgin Mary. You think this is the Virgin Mary? Go to Revelation 12. This doesn't make sense. Look at Revelation chapter 12. Look at verse 13. Verse 13. Let's see if this is referring to the Virgin Mary. This never happened to her. Revelation 12, 13. And when the dragon saw he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. Let's say that's Mary giving birth to Jesus. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time. Oh, did that ever happen three and a half years? Mary fled into the wilderness and she was given two wings, to, uh, she was given two wings where she can fly? No, that never happened. 
So that's not Mary. Not only that, verse 15, Satan sends out a flood to chase after this woman. That never happened to Mary. Look at verse 16. There was an earth that swallowed up the flood. That never happened to Mary. See, this is not referring to Mary. This is a future timeline to the nation of Israel. Why? Because look at the description of moon, stars, and sun referring to Israel. It's all the tribes of Israel. Jacob's line. All right, let's look at the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 37. Genesis 37. We're going to look at Genesis chapter 37. Look how this dream is given in referring to the entire nation of Israel. Verse 8, uh, let's see, excuse me, verse 9, And he dreamed yet another dream, Joseph's dreaming a dream. He told it to his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. He told it to his father and to his brethren, and his father rebuked him and said unto him, See, Jacob knew what that dream was referring to. It was referring to his whole family line, the Jews. What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I, see Jacob, and thy mother, and thy brethren? Because Jacob has 11 brothers. There's your 11 stars. 11 tribes of Israel. But Joseph is the 12th tribe, so there you're 12. Jacob's the sun, wife's the moon. There you go. That's everybody, the entire nation of Israel. He said, sun, moon, and 11 stars. Jacob said, I, mother, and what? The, 11, the remaining 11 brethren. See, that's referring to the entire nation of Israel. All right, let's go to Revelation chapter 12. That makes sense. It's Israel. Why? Because remember Revelation 6 and Matthew 24? Who's being persecuted? Jacob. Yeah, that's right. It's the nation of Israel, Jacob's line. That's being persecuted by the Antichrist, so the dragon keeps chasing after her. Yep. See, that makes total sense. It's a future application, future timeline. Jumping to Revelation chapter 12, <coughs> it says that she gave birth to this man child, right at verse 2. So let's suppose that's referring to Jesus, okay? If this is a reference to Jesus Christ about this man child being born, Notice that Jesus, he did take on the seed where he was born from. It is true, he was born from the nation of Israel. Let's look at Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. And then we'll read. Verse 16, Galatians chapter 3 and verse 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not unto seeds as of many, but as of one, one seed, right? Who is this one seed from Israel's line? And to thy seed, which is what? Christ. Christ. See, it is true. Christ, Jesus is of that seed. Look at Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, verse 3. Romans chapter 1, verse 3. <coughs> Notice the Bible says right here, Concerning His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made, made of the seed of David according to the what? Flesh. See, there's no doubt. That's referring to Jesus. Okay, going back to Revelation chapter 12. Here we go, the seven-headed dragon. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Here's the first wonder in heaven. Here's the next wonder in heaven. Who is this? Behold the great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns. Look at this creature, this being, this dragon. When he comes out, he comes out with seven heads. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, and notice ten horns. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's how it's going to look like. What are the seven heads and ten horns? Nimrod, Sennacherib, Nebuchadnezzar, the Roman Caesar, and then the horns. They all match up with those kingdoms, but it adds three more horns. That's going to include England. It's going to include the United States. It's going to include Russia. And that will be covered in our next Revelation Aww. teaching. All right? We got to end it here. All right? So I will explain each head and each horn, how that matches up to uh, those uh, Antichrist kings, so to speak, and the future uh, United Nations that the Antichrist will take a huge play on.